Hello, it's Nick, and in this video I want to show you the most notable ChatGPT competitor, Claude. Claude is a text chatbot created by the company Anthropic. This company was founded by former members of OpenAI. Claude is not a new tool, but I decided to record this video because Claude is now available in 95 countries. Previously, it was available only in the United States and UK. In this video, I want to show you what this tool is capable of. I will test it in a few popular scenarios, such as data analysis and writing code. But before we dive into these actual scenarios, I want to mention that I simply love this UI. Claude nicely pairs minimalism with pastel colors, which creates a positive vibe. Claude offers a few prompt examples to start with and a prompt input field that allows you to upload a file along with the prompt. ChatGPT also allows you to attach files, but this feature is only available in ChatGPT+, a paid version of this tool. And in Claude, it's available for free. Once you start interacting with Claude, it will create a chat for you. Here you can see a response the tool provided to my question about mobile usage in 2023. I asked the tool to provide general mobile phone usage in 2023, and the tool was able to do that. This is another great thing about Claude. It has more recent data than ChatGPT free version. Now let's test Claude in a more interesting scenarios, like summarizing a long article for us. I will upload this file. This is a scientific paper about large language models and ask Claude to analyze it. Claude can handle up to 75,000 words as an input. It's more than three times than ChatGPT can handle. It basically means that you can submit a fairly large document and ask Claude to summarize them. Here is what will happen when you attach a document and simply press start a new chart. If you don't provide any prompt along with your file, Claude will analyze the file and share the summary of this analysis with you. To take the summary a bit more specific, you can provide a prompt like what are the top 5 key points from this document, along with the file. But you can also ask follow-up questions about this document, such as, in my case, I decided to ask about the key innovation elements of the GPT model. As you can see, Claude was able to extract this information from this document. You can attach multiple documents at a time and ask Claude to summarize them or extract specific information. For example, I've submitted two research papers about the metaverse economy. One was created by GP Morgan and another by Deloitte. I will start with the basic questions about the experience that will work best for the metaverse. Maybe I want to build a business in a virtual space and I'm wondering what experience should I build. The tool used the papers and identified factors that will have a positive impact on the metaverse experience. But it's not exactly what I need, since I'm interested in business models. It's true that I should have mentioned keywords like business in the prompt. But I believe that the tool should be able to figure out what I wanted to achieve based on the documents that I've provided, since the documents were all about the state of the metaverse and business opportunities in it. Let's change the prompt and ask the tool to identify opportunities for product developers who want to build the metaverse experience. As you can see, the tool likely ignored the papers I've submitted and provided a very general response to my question. A simple trick can help you to force the tool to use the documents you've submitted to provide an answer. You can start with a question such as what is expected evaluation of the metaverse and then mention keywords like according to provided reports. And as you can see, the tool used the documents when generating a response. Now let's see how good Claude is at generating code. I will ask the tool to create a bar chart to visualize the US population from 1990s to 2000. The tool started to write Python code, even though I didn't mention the keyword Python. At the first glance, the code is fine. It imports the most popular library for creating plots in, for Python, which is a matplotlib. And Claude has also explained the logic behind this source. The last thing I want to test is whether the tool can generate images for us. I will ask Claude to draw a kitten. As you can see, Claude cannot do it, but it can provide a text description of the kitten. Another downside of this tool is that it limits the number of messages you can submit during the day. If your conversations are relatively short, 
you can expect to send around 100 messages every 8 hours. But since I use the tool to summarize large and complex documents, I was able to submit 5 or 6 messages. After you reach your limit, you will see that there are no free messages and you can either wait until a specific moment or sign up for a pro version of this tool. And the pro version costs $20 per month. And this price is the same as ChatGPT Plus subscription. Let's quickly summarize the pros and cons of this tool. The benefits of Claude are a large number of tokens. You have 100,000 of tokens, which is around 75,000 words, which is the size of a fairly large document. You can provide files along with your prompt, and Claude can have the training data up to 2023. The downsides are a lack of a text-to-image generation and a limited free plan. The number of messages you can submit during the day is limited. Hope it was helpful. Let me know what you think about Claude. And can it really beat ChatGPT? Thank you.